Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's demonstration I will be showing how to do some beautiful chrome ombres featuring the Speakeasy collection from Social Claws. Uh, you can check out my previous application demonstration uh, showing each of those colors. But in this one I, I will be showing how to do these beautiful blendable uh, chrome gradients or ombres and uh, you can do just a two color one like on these samples here or you can get creative and do a three color uh, ombre like on the left there's also a vertical and i have a diagonal i've also done a circular sort of highlight center area here and not necessarily an ombre but a cute tie-dye look now on my samples I've used Accents Black On. It is a no wipe gel color, but you can use your favorite black gel polish and put a no wipe over that. Uh, for this demo I'm using the Johans over the uh, chrome after I finish, but you can use Accents or uh, again your favorite no wipe. Now to apply most of these pigments I will be using the Johans application brush. It's got some nice soft nylon bristles and it gives a nice transition area. You can use anything you have on hand however. I've got some makeup brushes here. I did find though that if it's a, a stiffer bristle uh, it tends to take the pigment off of the nail so you might want to use something that's a little softer. Here's an old ratty brush that I had that actually uh, does apply pigment quite nicely. I'll use that for the circular one. I also have some Johans mixing sheets here, but you can use anything that, you know, uh, to put some of your pigments on. I don't want to dip the brush directly into the uh, pigment itself. It does tend to pick up a lot and you don't want to waste it. I'll be using a paper towel to um, kind of brush off excess pigment so I don't create harsh lines. And so for our first one, I'm just going to take a little bit of the magenta and the blue, which is Barlow and Prohibition. I'm going to start with the blue at the bottom, concentrating most of the color at the bottom. And then as I get towards the center, I'm just going to feather that out. Again, I'm wiping off almost all of that pigment. And then I'm just going to swipe it lightly towards the center to deposit just the barest amount of the pigment. And then I'll pick up our second color, Prohibition, and I'll do the same things, concentrating most of that color on the tip, and then bringing that down towards that center transition area, and then blending it in the middle. Now you don't want to burnish until you've got your transition area the way you like it. Once you start burnishing, you're stuck with it. So uh, make sure that that uh, center area is blended like you like it. And then you can pick up a little bit of that pigment and saturate each the bottom part and the top part a little bit more. Brush off your excess and then apply your top coat. You want to just float the polish over your pigments as always. You don't want any of that pigment lifting up off the nail into your top coat. That'll make it look frosty. And now that's ready to go ahead and cure. Johans recommends 60 seconds for their top coat. And there is our cured nail out of the lamp beautiful mirror finish with a beautiful transition between the two colors. All right, for our next one, I'll do this diagonal gradient. I'll be using the purple and the green. The purple is temperance. The green is absinthe. Again, using my fluffy brush here, I'll concentrate most of the color in that corner moving up towards the center feathering it out a little bit I 
I'm not going to worry about any patchiness and, and on the nail just yet. I'll get both colors on the nail first, making sure I get that transition area the way that I would like it before I actually come in and make the um, two colors more saturated with a little more pigment. I find that using my fingertip when I'm getting to that point, using my fingertip to deposit more works a little bit better. Actually, it does just flat out work better than any of the brushes. Just be careful when you do apply it that you're not um, really going really harshly with the color in your transition area. You don't want harsh lines. You do want this to look blended. So once you brush off the excess pigment, again, top coat that and cure. This is actually one of my favorite color combinations. I know it's more of a springtime look, but it's still gorgeous. All of these colors are absolutely beautiful. All right, so we'll do a vertical gradient. I'm going to use Prohibition and Barlow, the magenta and the blue. Now, I don't want to use the fluffy brush for this. It tends to deposit a little bit too much um, doing it vertically. So I'm going to use this makeup brush, this flat, flat makeup brush. The bristles on this are a little bit stiffer, so I'm going to use a really light touch with this, except where I want more saturated color. And again, I'm going to just feather it towards the center, brush off the excess, and then bring in the prohibition color. We're going to burnish in a little bit more color on each side to make it more saturated looking making sure that we keep that center area nicely blended. Again, with the top coat, you don't want to overbrush. You want to use a very light touch. If you find that when you're brushing it, the pigment is lifting up, you might want to try a different top coat. Again, the Johans and the Accents did not cause the pigment for me to lift up. All right, we're going to try our three color gradient here. I've used um, Prohibition. The center color is going to be Rum Runner and the tip will be absinthe. And again, using my fluffy brush here, we're just going to basically do each color in thirds. I actually really like Rum Runner. Coral is not a color that looks good on me, but this Rum Runner is gorgeous in person. It is absolutely beautiful and it combines really nicely with the rest of the collection. So totally worth getting. So again, once you get your transitions the way that you like them, go ahead and add a little more pigment into each area to saturate each color. Being careful not to cause harsh lines.
I find with these pigments, you don't need any special tools for, as you may have seen in my previous application video, I used my fingertip to apply all of these pigments and uh, it, they were absolutely perfect. So no silicone um, application tool is needed. You can use the finger cot that Angela provides as well. And you can see the beautiful three color here really gorgeous now here's that circular gradient kind of a highlighted area we'll be using rum runner and prohibition i'm going to do the center area first and as you can see i'm using that kind of ratty old brush just to apply deposit some in the middle and I'm going to feather out. I'm just going to do a smallish circle at first, and then I'm going to feather that out. I'm going to wipe off any excess. I don't want it getting into the area where I want to put the prohibition color. Once you get your shape, again, the way that you like it, feathering that out. I'm going to come in with the fluffy brush and add the prohibition color to help with the blending. Do a little bit more in the center to help that highlighted area stand out a little bit more. Brush off the excess. And there you have your circular gradient. It's a subtle look. You can use, make it a less subtle look with a different combination, say like with the blue or the green or the green and the purple. That would be pretty too. Now for this tie dye, I'm using that kind of rounded makeup brush and I'm just coming in and we're going to use all five colors. I'm going to come in and just lay down a little of a little random patchy area of each color. I'm not going to do any blending right now. I'm just laying down each of the colors. Now I'll dust off the excess and then I'm going to use the application tools that Angela provides, the little sponge applicator tools. I'm going to come in picking up each color and again just adding a little bit more to saturate that color a little bit more. And now you're ready to go ahead and burnish it. Make sure all the pigment is lying flat. And that one is ready to top coat.
All right, so here we have our finished nail out of the lamp. See that gorgeous mirror finish over our patchwork design. So I hope this has given you some idea of just how versatile the Speakeasy Collection pigments can be, uh, creating these beautiful ombres. I know that Angela worked very hard on these to make them apply as effortlessly as possible and to be as chrome as possible as well. And I think she accomplished it. These are a pleasure to work with, as are all of her products. So if you have any comments or questions for me, go ahead and leave them down below. As always, I will leave links to all the products that I use. Check that description box below. If you like the video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.